Thanks, guys. Yeah, another one of those crazy stories. So uh, a public interest law firm uh, is exploiting a bunch of children to advance the goals of the climate change cult. I mean, uh, movement, sorry, to save the world from global warming. And they just won their first big court victory in the United States. This was in a state court in Montana. And uh, potentially we're setting the stage here for undermining the very economy and country that those poor brainwashed children are eventually going to depend on for jobs, food, energy, and uh, the rest of their needs. Uh, now, thankfully, uh, their decision is going to be resisted. Uh, the uh, attorney general's office in Montana called this ruling absurd. Uh, and of course, he's right. Uh, but a lot more of this is expected. A little background on the case there. Uh, this was brought by a, a group called Our Children's Trust. And uh, they, they filed lawsuits in every one of the 50 states asking courts to uh, find that children have a right to a clean and healthy climate and that fossil fuels undermine that right. And therefore, government agencies have an obligation not to allow uh, oil and gas exploration, at least without considering the alleged effects on the climate change. And so this uh, Far left judge, Montana District Court Judge Kathy Seeley, ruled that, uh, yeah, the state isn't allowed to just uh, issue permits for oil and gas without considering the effect of climate change. She said this was unconstitutional. And again, this is the first ruling by an American court purporting to establish a, a right to not have climate change. Uh, in the in the ruling, the judge said uh, Montana's emissions and climate change have been proven to be a substantial factor in causing climate impacts to Montana's environment and harm and injury. Uh, of course, this is false. Uh, it is absolutely untrue. It hasn't been proven at all. In fact, uh, I wrote an article about a, a peer-reviewed study that so far has been totally unchallenged that shows that solar activity can actually explain every bit of the observed warming that has taken place over the last few decades. Every single shred of it, 100% can be explained. Now, nobody has challenged this paper. There have been no peer-reviewed papers refuting this. Uh, it's written by some of the most preeminent scientists in, around the world. So for this judge to say it's been proven is an absolute lie. Either she's a doofus or she is being dishonest. Either way, her loss, her uh, opinion deserves to be ruthlessly mocked. Now, uh, the organization uh, behind this lawsuit was really proud. They said that uh, this is a huge win for youth, for democracy, and for our climate. Of course, if uh, she had bothered reading the U.S. Constitution, Article 4, Section 4, she'd know that the U.S. government actually has an obligation to uphold the uh, the Republican form of government in every one of the states. So if it was a huge win for democracy, that in and of itself would be unconstitutional since Montana has uh, a guarantee of a Republican government. But uh, in, in a statement, the executive director of this uh, radical left-wing group, uh, Julia Olson, said, uh, as fires rage in the West fueled by fossil fuel pollution, today's ruling in Montana is a game changer that marks a turning point in this generation's efforts to save the planet from the devastating effects of human-caused climate chaos. Wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, of course, to call CO2 pollution is simply preposterous. CO2 is the gas we all exhale. Uh, your average human exhales about two pounds of it every day. It's the gas of life. It is not pollution. That is totally ridiculous. Uh, but this is going to be a, a major case, folks. Uh, the Associated Press wrote about it. Harvard Law School professor Richard Lazarus was quoted saying that um, this is clearly a major path-breaking win for the climate plaintiffs. Mm, interesting. Now, they're doing this all over the world. Actually, uh, the UN just put out an email. I, I got it in my inbox where they are really proud of this idea of bypassing legislative bodies and elected representatives to implement their vision of climate tyranny. Uh, the UN Environment Program is openly promoting this. They say that these lawsuits are an integral part of securing climate action and justice. Uh, they say the number of these climate change lawsuits has more than doubled over the last five years, and it's still accelerating. And and uh, they actually say that these lawsuits are going to create a uh, established, uh, well-defined field of law, is how they put it. Uh, Inger Anderson, who I've run into many times at these climate events, she never wants to talk uh, because, of course, why would you defend your wackiness when you don't have to? Uh, but she says climate policies are far behind what's needed to keep global temperatures below 1.5 degrees, uh, as if she had any idea what effect uh, reduced CO2 would have on the climate. Uh, she says people are increasingly turning to courts to combat the climate crisis and secure climate justice. OK, yeah, right. right. Uh, so just uh, six months ago or so, I was in Egypt at the latest U.N. climate summit. I had an opportunity to interview some of these climate youth, and uh, they really they have no idea what they're talking about. It's a very, very sad situation. But they were demanding a ruling by the U.N.'s kangaroo court, the International Court of Justice, saying that uh, the U.N. must rule on this. They must give global guidance because climate change, the gas of life, 
threatens people's human rights. Folks, uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, adult Americans know this is ridiculous. In fact, the surveys show adult Americans do not believe the man-made climate hoax, but they're brainwashing our children. They're indoctrinating them in public schools to believe that the very gas they exhale is a toxic pollution. Uh, from a scientific point of view, this is ridiculous. It's totally ludicrous. But from a totalitarian point of view, it is brilliant. Uh, we have to resist this. We have to rein in these rogue courts, and we have to stop the indoctrination of our children in public schools. Thanks, guys.